we're going to track all of the major developments. And Dr. Sutton, that includes today's big number, 44,000. That is the estimated number of people kept out of the hospital since New York City's vaccine campaign began earlier this year. And this is a really stunning number. More than 98% of COVID patients who did require hospitalizations were not fully vaccinated. And uh, to a sudden we are seeing those hospitalizations. We are seeing those COVID case numbers go up in states with low vaccination rates, I guess to be expected there. But the Delta strain is of such concern. That's right, TJ. So in these states, uh, COVID-19 is predictably rising in low vaccination rate states. And it seems as though the majority of these cases are pending or probably Delta variant, to be honest with you. Right now, uh, qualify or quantifying, we have about 60 percent. But that number is difficult to fully quantify because it's really difficult to genomically sequence all these cases. So I expect that the numbers that we're getting are an underestimation. The Delta variant is proving to be more transmissible and because of that, hospitalization rates are increasing. And those who are vulnerable seem to be the unvaccinated, of course, which of course includes children and the immune compromised. I try to stress this as much as I can with each and every transmission provides opportunities for new variants to develop. And although these vaccines are proving to be effective, it is possible that in the future, these new variants may threaten all the hard work that we've done. So it's really important to get vaccinated. All right, Dr. Sutton, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.